my colleagues did great in my absence. Uh, I think they thrived. I think it gave my second in command uh, an opportunity to rise to the occasion, uh, the opportunity for them to make decisions and to really feel what it is to be making the type of decisions I make every day as executive director. And for some of them, it gave them a glimpse of what it's like to, to fill those shoes and to want to be an executive director themselves. The staff did magnificently well while I was gone. You know, part of the, the, the thing that happened, I think, was I, I was something of a micromanager in the first, uh, you know, 10 years of our existence. And that just came to an end because of the, my three months with, with the Durfee uh, sabbatical. Absolutely, completely, no trace of it when I came back, really, honestly. So it was this, this sense that people stepped up, they did, uh, you know, they, they filled in whatever needed to be uh, uh, handled and they did it really well. So again, they, they used muscles that, that were kind of, um, that they didn't use while I, I was there. And then once when I came back, they were continued to, to, to exercise their own capacity to lead and to handle things. And so I didn't have to anymore. It was really pretty magnificent. Well, the biggest change was uh, we hired an associate director on, and made it very, very clear at that point that the associate director was in charge of all aspects of the organization when I left. Um, and so the previous associate director didn't have that level of responsibility. So who we hired, um, and you know, it turned out we were in a search for that position anyways. Who we hired, we wanted to make sure had a wide variety of skills, um, especially that complemented me. Um, and we ended up hiring Karen Hall, who has since become our executive director. Um, and she's so much better than I am at administration and management and those sorts of things. And she has much more of a business sense than I do. So we really complement each other very, very well. 